This is an insane prank that I pulled off on a Russian guy who lost his iPhone 10 at a movie theater. The accomplice, who requested the prank, set this up by texting his friend first from a fake number, pretending to be an Arab guy who found the lost iPhone. So as Abdu, I made him think that I bought his lost iPhone from somebody, but I was willing to sell it back to him. The things I made him do to get his phone back are insane, and the police ultimately got involved. Check out this craziness. Hello. Uh, yeah, hello. Are, are you the guy who like, lost his phone? You mean, uh, ah, you, you, did, did you find my iPhone X? Yeah, yeah, I, I have it. I, I... Ah, okay, okay, it's, it's great. Is it, is it possible to just uh, meet meet with you? It just I I, I, give, I give you some uh, reward for this. It's but it's I I really I really I really great. Thank you for for you find did you find my phone? Thank you so much. No, of course, man, of course, yeah. But uh, to tell me more about this reward you have in mind, like what were you thinking? Um, I I, I give you just a uh, couple hundred dollars. $200. Yeah, but but you see, honestly, like, I already have some offers from eBay, like six, seven, eight hundred. like, uh, so can you, like, make the reward a little bit higher so it's worthwhile, like... But uh, it's a lot of personal inside, it's like, uh, pictures and, like, uh, uh, it, it's good $200 for you or not, it's not uh, enough. Uh, s 600 I think, would be better. 600 Yeah, yeah. 600 is not too much. Maybe, maybe 400 uh, uh, honestly, uh, uh, really, uh, l let's say 700, because the offer on eBay, I have 800. Okay, it's, uh, uh, let's let give it you, $500. I give you $500 for this. Uh, honestly, I I'm thinking somewhere more in the, 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 the range of, like, 750. No, you say, you say, you say one minute ago, 600. Yeah, but then you try to negotiate with me, and, like, but honestly, I, I have somebody ready to pay 800. See, 750, but it's, okay, yeah, but just, you say never, mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'll just sell it, okay? There's a guy on eBay, he wants it for 800, so, like, I don't want No, to... no, I just, okay, okay, how, how much you want? You must really want this phone back, man. Like, what kind of incriminating photos do you have on here? Like, is this... What's so important about it? Like, you have a, you have a picture with a prostitute or something like that, or, or what? Doesn't It doesn't matter for you. It's my personal pictures. Yeah, I know, but I, I was able to open it. I didn't look all the way, but now I'm kind of curious. I want to go look at, at the rest. But uh, but is it is it... Can I look next to my son, or should I make him make him go away? Okay, yeah. Let's, where and when can we meet? You want to beat that at the movie theater uh, close to 42nd Street? Okay, where is first floor, second floor, third floor? It's ground level. What, no, what me, exactly? Me, what play? Me, me, meet me in the second row of uh, for the Pacific Rim movie. I'll be in there. If uh, we meet, you mean you mean uh, you mean second row? It's uh, from the screen. Yeah, from the screen. That, that way I can look up right away and like get like a neck bean. That, that's why I number I, two. Yeah, I feel like I'm inside the movie, right? Like you can feel like the vibration. Okay, what uh, what uh, you mean? What what uh, what I have to have for popcorn? What what you want from me? Can we do 800? No, 750 dollars. I know, man, but I'm just, I'm looking on the eBay page right now. Somebody else just bid. It's now, it's 825. Like, you know how hard it is for me to lose money when I know I can make more money? Okay, but, uh, yeah, we, we just have a, have a deal, 750 dollars. I bring you cash, sir. I bring you cash, 750 dollars. All right, you know what? Look, 750, okay, all right, fine, man. Like, I, I'll, I'll see you, 750, you have a deal, okay? So I'll see you in the middle row. Okay, what uh, what time? Seven p forty p.m. Yeah, seven forty p.m. I I'm gonna be there, so like this, I I'm I'm gonna cancel this eBay listing right now. So if you don't come tonight, I'm gonna just sell it honestly, because it's it's very frustrating for me. I will I I will be there. So you be, you know what they say, right? You be there or you be like a square. Okay, seven forty. Okay, all right, Habibi, I will see you seven forty, and just make make sure you're there, okay? Please. Okay, bye. Dude, this guy. His accent's amazing, and he's surprisingly patient. I reached out to the requester, and he said that Demir was super excited about the prospect of getting his phone back. So I called him again and made him think that Abdu had already sold the phone to Rakish. Hello. Uh, yeah, hello. Uh, did, are you looking for a cell phone? Yes, yes, I'm looking for a cell phone, of course. Oh, yeah. So is it possible to just meet each other today, or how it works? Uh, yeah, but so uh, basically I paid 750 for it. I thought I got a good deal from this uh, Arab guy. And then I, I checked the message on it and it shows that you were calling. So I, I don't know, did, did I buy a stolen phone? Uh, like, uh, I, I, I'm very confused about that. Yeah, yeah, just I am um, just my phone. Uh, my phone was stolen, but just uh, it's uh, uh, is it possible to just uh, just get this phone back? Yeah, but I paid seven hundred fifty. You understand? So I'm I I am kind of in a tight bind, right? Like seven hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. Uh, yes, and uh, okay, it's fine. Uh, how can we meet each other? 
Uh, yeah, that that's fine, but I want to understand, like, what do you want to do when we meet? No, if you want money, just I give you money and uh, take my phone back, that's all. Oh, okay. well, how, well, how much can you pay me for it? No, how much you want? I mean, I paid 750, so how about 800, so I can kind of walk away? Maybe, with... maybe less, maybe less than 750, but because 750, it's not possible. So maybe it's uh, like 600 dollars, it's enough. No, but then I, I'm losing 150, right? Like, I, I bought it yesterday for 750, you understand? I, I just called you because I feel bad. I wanted to see if I can help out. Ah, you want... Ah, okay, you just uh, you just bought from somebody for $750? Yeah, yeah, I bought it yesterday from this one guy. I think he's like a brown guy, like a, a Arab or something like that. I can, I can, I can pay $750, so it, it's good? Uh, yeah, but like I said, I, I, but I want to at least make a small profit because I have to take the train and go all the way back and meet you, all these things. Like, I have to take time off of work. So, like, 800 would be better, I think, like that. Okay, I pay you, I, okay, I pay you $800, okay, it's deal. Okay, all right, 800, we can do that. Do you want to meet me at the Red Lobster in Times Square? Red Lobster? Uh, yeah, Red Lobster, right? Uh, what, what exactly time, it's 4 o'clock? Yeah, 4 o'clock sharp would be good. I'm going there for happy hour, so you can sit down for a drink if you want to. It's up to you. You look, look like uh, Indian man, right? Uh, yeah, I am from Bangla. From Bangladesh, right? Uh, yeah, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's, it's fine. I think it's we just uh, we just underst understand each other. Okay, my we friend. Just, I, I will see you tonight. Just bring the cash, okay, please, because I paid a lot of money, so it will be good. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. I'll see you soon. Okay, shit, oh my god, I feel bad for this guy, but his friend who requested this insists that I still call him and that it's totally fine and that he's going to make it up to him in some way. But like, I feel like I'm rubbing salt on the wound and the wound is burning. I felt really bad at this point, but the requester insisted that I keep pranking his friend. So I called him back and made him think that Chris had somehow gotten a hold of his phone. And this is where it gets insane. Hello. Yeah, hi, it's Chris. Yeah, hi. Um, I, I believe you left your phone at the club last night? Yes, yeah. Um, did I, did I possibly call the wrong number? You don't sound like the guy that was in here. No, no, it's my phone, it's my phone, it's my phone, but just you call me from my phone number. Yeah. But were you the guy that I was dancing for last night at a hunk of mania? No, no, I'm not uh, dating last night, but just I lost, uh, I lost this phone it's, uh, a couple, a couple of weeks ago. But it's... I'm, I'm just so confused because I thought you left your phone in my booth. Like you know, I was dancing, I had my balls in your face, like we were, we were kind of vibing. It was at the gay bar. Yeah, it's, uh, it's iPhone X, right? All right, it's the. Uh, did you find, the, did you find the phone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an iPhone X with a case on it. But like I said, like I, I was dancing for this Indian gentleman last night, and I'm just saying, like you don't sound like him, so I'm just kind of confused. No, it's this this phone, Chris. This, this phone, this phone is mine. If you find this phone, but just uh, thank you so much. It uh, can I meet, can we meet? I I show you everything. It's give you a reward for this. Yeah, no, I, I was just confused because there was an Indian guy that came in with it, and he was snapping pictures of me all night, and he was throwing money, and I was dancing, and like we were talking. And he actually left the phone in my waistband, like he was just like he was snapping pictures and says, "Oh, I have to give you a nice tip," and was like, "Ooh, I want a phone like that one," and I think he accidentally left it behind. So I was just trying to contact him and and see because you just no, sound, you sound nothing like him. No, no, it's it's no, no, no. It's it's my it's my phone. It was somebody st stole this phone from me. Okay, and and wait, well, what's your name then? My name is Damir. Damir. Okay, Damir. Yeah, I, I have I have a receipt. I have a bus. I have everything. It's my phone. I have a personal. But but inside Demir, the phone, but, but, but but listen, D Damir, like. Uh... You understand why it's kind of confusing for me, right? Because I had this like little cute little spicy Indian man up in my, uh, you know, in my booth yesterday, and I was dancing for him. I gave him a lap dance. And he was taking all these photos. I thought he accidentally left it behind. It's, it's. I think it's this. Uh, this Indian guy just lost, uh, stole my phone. Well, uh, phone. and how much were you thinking for that reward? Couple, couple hundred. It's, it's, it's fine. A uh, couple because... hundred. I, I was dancing for him for hours, and like I had to do like some kind of demeaning things to his, you know, chicken tikka masala, if you will, like, I, I, um, 200 is, is kind of low, like, you know, like, I was dancing for so long on my feet, like, I got, my, my, my legs got sore, I was wearing heels, actually, I was wearing heels for my set, it ha I have bunions now. Okay, how much, how much you want? Honestly, like, six, seven hundred would be, like, more up my alley, like, that kind of thing. You want six, seven hundred? Okay, uh, when, when we can, uh, when and where we can meet? 
Um, I, I'm over at Hunkamania right now. In case you want to just come by, I'm going to be here for another couple hours. Um, okay. Uh, what 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 is it? It's a male club. It's like called Hunkamania Male Club. Okay. Uh, how just I know what's you it's just uh, it's gonna uh, be. Yeah, I, I'm gonna be wearing. I have a red baseball cap on, like backwards. And my stage name is Pixie Dust, so you can just call in and ask for Pixie Dust. Chris, a.k.a. Pixie Dust. Pixie Dust, okay, got it. There you go. And you can just ask the big burly black guy out in front. Just ask him for Pixie Dust, and he should just take you right to me. So what time? Um, how about, like, can, can we do five or six? Uh, six better. Six, six is better? better? Okay, let, let's do six. Yeah. I'll, I'll be wearing the assless chaps. My set doesn't start till 6.30, so just if you come in at six, it should be perfect. You work, you work, you work, you work in this place, right? Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, you work like a like a bartender, or like like a who, like dancer. Yeah, yeah. I'm a server, bartender, dancer. It's kind of all like together, like we do. It's, oh, uh, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Oh, it's, 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 it's really interesting. It will, will, inter will interesting to uh, to meet you. Interesting for me. Okay, yeah, Chris. I'm, thank I'm you. Thank you so much. I'll okay. be I'll be there. Right. I gotta go shake my booty. Okay, I, I gotta go. Six o'clock. Okay. Uh, all right. Sounds Chris good. No, okay, of thanks. course. I'll talk to you then. Okay. Okay. Bye thank you. Thank you, Chris. Uh, this poor guy, dude. Like, this f***ing guy deserves his phone back. <laughs> I gotta go shake that booty! <laughs> God, it's so fucking absurd, dude. Now I call up the requester to fill him in on the prank so far. Hey, man. Yo, what's up, bro? How's it going? Um, so far, so good. Can't so complain, you? Nice, nice. So far, so good. I actually just called the mirror. I wanted to give you a quick update. I called him as Chris, like a really flamboyant, like, gay character, and more or less told him that, like, this Indian guy came in, left his phone while I was giving him a lap dance, and I was trying to get back to him, and, like, I was talking to him, and he's like, no, no, it's my phone. It's my phone. I, I lost it. It's my phone. So he kept on like, going over and over again about how it's his phone, and then finally, he's like, okay, okay. I gave him the address to a male strip club, and told him to go inside and ask for pixie dust. So he's going to go inside this male strip club and try to find Chris to get his phone back for the third time, dude. Oh, it's man. so f***ing ridiculous. So first of all, I feel bad for the guy. So you have to do something nice for him because this poor guy. And I, I keep I mean, pushing. You do, you, you, no, you're the one doing that to him. I, I think you, you're the one who has to buy him iPhone after this. Oh, really? <laughs> That's convenient, huh? <laughs> You see, you seem to make it seem like pushing it's okay. I have been feeling guilty for this guy. Um, so, what do you think? <laughs> I mean, making him go to a gay club is pretty fucking ridiculous. Right. <laughs> but like, there's gonna be like shirtless dudes like walking around and shit in like bikinis. Like, it's it's gonna be like, it's, it's gonna be perfect. Uh, how how do you know that? Because I go Google Images, bro. Google Images tells you everything. Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, all right, cool, bro. Well, text me um, and let me know, okay? Yeah, that's, that's, okay. that's too funny. All I right. hope you're not recording that. I hope you're not publishing this later on. Which but part? But you probably will. What do you mean? <laughs> Like, no, me laughing shamelessly. Oh, oh, I mean, I, I can leave it out if you want, but like, it's definitely, it's funny. Like, uh, that's the whole point of the prank, it's, it's man. So, it's so fair. It's so fair. <laughs> All right. Well, sweet, bro. Um, right, keep, keep me posted. Enjoy your time in Miami, and uh, I'll be in touch. Yeah, man. All right. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Dude, this guy can't help but like giggle mercilessly in the background. It's like. <laughs> now I called Amir back. And yes, he actually went to Hunkamania to find Chris. And here's what happened. Yeah, hi, how are you? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Where, where are you? I've been trying to call you. I keep getting your voicemail. Uh, no, yeah, just I'm, I'm, I'm in Khan Comedia Club. It's, uh, just, uh, they said me this Khan Comedia not, uh, not working today, but on the, on the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, they, I guess they, they decided not to do any shows today, so that, that's why they didn't, they didn't let you in, right? Yeah, nobody there. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on one second. Let me let me talk to the bouncer real quick. Oh, hold on, okay? You know, you know. Can you can you meet uh, on TV Bank, Second Street and uh, Avenue? But I can't leave right now. You're gonna have to come to the front and just ask for Pixie Dust, and they should let you in the back. Just say that. Yeah, yeah. I asked Pixie Dust. Nobody knows. Nobody knows Pixie Pixie Dust. I'm literally inside. I don't know why they wouldn't direct you back here. They probably thought you were a fan or something. That's why they didn't want to let you in. Because yeah, typically we have shows on Fridays and Saturdays. <laughs> Chris, you just come uh, on, this, on this street and... Uh, well, uh, well the, the, the only thing is, I was just doing a private show, so I'm in a thong, so I can't really come out right now. It would just be kind of awkward to come in the street like that, so it's going to be important that you, you have to just hop in here. Like, again, it's not a big deal. I'm sorry for the confusion. It's just, it, it's pixie dust. 
Big Shivdas. Yeah, nobody knows Big Shivdas. I, 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 I say Big Shivdas. Nobody knows. Uh, did you end up telling them the password? The, the password ball sack? <laughs> no, I not no password. I don't know password. I, I don't know if I forgot to tell you the password or if you forgot to tell them, but when you go up to the door and you say, I'm here to see Pixie Dust, you have to say ball sack potatoes. And that, that's the password to actually, they know that you're you're supposed to be there. I'm supposed to tell people. Oh, well, box or potatoes? No, it's ball sack, box. uh, ball, it's ball sack potatoes. Uh, ball, uh, ball sack potatoes. Yeah, you could, the, 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 yeah, perfect. It's like it's like it's like pressured, uh, bowl of B O L F A K potatoes, right? Yes. Bowl bowl sack potatoes, right? Yes, hello. I, I, I'm so, sorry. The service back here is so bad. Uh, yeah, that, that that's right. Okay. Uh. uh Okay, what I have to do? Come, uh, come, uh, just uh, what? What floor? Third, second, third. What? What floor? On, only queen and person, and only the other ladies here. It's... Gotcha. Okay. Well, go go ahead and try to talk to those those two ladies and see if they might be able to escort you. Otherwise, I'm gonna go find her right now, and I'm I'm on the line. Okay, I'm not gonna hang up. Okay. Is there any, if anybody can escort me to? Uh, they are working. They give me some password uh, both at potatoes. Can you speak with with this lady? Uh, she she uh, she is coming. Oh yeah yeah. She's coming right now. Yeah, I can speak yeah, with her. Can I speak with her? Uh, yeah hi um my, my, my friend yeah. My, yeah hi my friend Demir is here to see me today. Who are you? Uh, my, my name is Chris. I'm I'm a dancer here. You're a dancer where? I, I'm a dancer at the club. Okay, but you know that Hunkamania is not at the club today. Uh, yeah yeah I I know, but I, I was in the back giving some private dances. Did, did he give you the password? What's this in the back? Yes, hello. Yeah, wait, 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 hold on. What, what, what did she say? Yes. I just say, uh, she said, uh, they, they well, said well, I know, but they, you, you, you didn't tell her ball sack potatoes. That's why. Say it. Uh, ball sack potatoes. Amazon, can you please close the door when she leaves? You have to leave now. You have nothing to do with that today with her. Well, if he wants to call you and say, you guys also uh, hurry up and say, say it before it's too late. No second, we gotta close the door. Yeah, did you, you, you hear me? Did you say ball sack potatoes? Yeah, say this password. Is nobody knows about it. Sir, he's here, and we need to close our door. We're gonna close the door. Well, 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 this has nothing to do with us. We don't have anything to do with Hunkamania today. You understand? Yeah, maybe you can you can bring this court for me for pick me up from here. No, I'm not. Oh, man. Yeah, sir, we don't need you to exit the building. Yeah, you gotta yeah. just say ball sack potatoes, and they should. Like, oh my God. What I what I need to do? They're lying. No, uh, so, ma'am, ma'am, I'm in my thong. I can't I can't come outside. That person is, you should call the on that person, yeah. Yeah, I, I honestly don't think they heard you say the password. Okay, hold on. I'm transferring you to my manager. He's right here next to me. He's going to come outside. Yeah, speak to the manager, yeah. On, in the, on the, be on the phone, be on the phone. How you doing there, sir? This is General Manager Tyrone Rowe with Hunkermania. Uh, did you have an appointment with us today? No, appointment. I have to meet him with the Chris, this Chris. Uh, yeah, okay, well, I I, I, I'm trying to see if I can go ahead and let you in right now. Uh, do you know what the password is? Well, he give me some, uh, he give me some password, it's like, uh, uh, like, uh, like, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, uh, ball cut potatoes. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, sir, I, I could not hear that. Can you say that one more time? <laughs> oh my god, he hung up. Oh my god, dude. I don't know what to do with him, dude. It's just, I don't know how to feel, dude. I feel bad. I feel guilty. I don't know. This guy, dude. So check this out. The ladies there actually called the cops on Demir, and he ended up going to the police station to report what happened. The policeman there told him that he must be getting pranked or something. But Demir was convinced that Chris was actually real. Can you imagine this Russian guy talking to police officers about ball sack potatoes? Oh my god. So anyway, I ended up calling Demir back. Uh, hey, is this Demir? Yes. Uh, hey, Demir, it's Chris. Chris, yeah, hi, Chris. Uh, yeah, we, we spoke before. Uh, you were trying to meet me at Hunkamania, then they wouldn't let you in because you had the wrong password. Okay, but then just uh, you, you give me a uh, last time. You give me real bullshit. It's not password, not uh, club, nothing. It's 
It's not true. It's bullshit. No, I no. Speak with uh, pe- people who work there. It, uh, they said it. Uh, this guy it, it give you bullshit. No, no, no. But I, I forgot. I, I guess they forgot to tell me they changed the password. So that's why. I, I honestly, I think I gave you the wrong password. So like, whenever you give the wrong password, they're supposed to act like they don't know you. So that's probably why. The, the right password is hippity hoppitus. So if you went back and just told them hippity hoppitus, they they should let you write in. I just asked just now. Oh. Just give my give me my property back, and so. But, but are are you still willing to pay mo- the same money for it though? Because like w- I need to like you know get something out of it. What what's money? But it's my property. Yeah, I know, but I if paid you wanna... money, you know. So like yeah. if, I, if I already paid six hundred, then like. I'm gonna go to Apple Store and just love this phone for forever. No, no, I, I told you, you, but like you I, I already. Use, you can't use this phone. No, but but for I had my. Six hundred dollars or for six thousand hundred dollars, it's nothing. Yeah, so you if you, if you it. pay me six fifty, I'll give it to you. But like like I'm saying, like 650. I. Because if you wanna just uh, if you wanna meet me, okay, okay, well, let's let's meet, but. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna this uh, gay club, or go to gay club, or some 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 something else. You, know, you understand? No, no, I, I'm I understand. Gonna go, I'm not gonna go this uh, this bullshit clubs. Let's uh, let's go meet. Uh, where where we can meet? Uh, uh, you you want to come to Hunkamedia? No, I'm not gonna go to Hunkamedia. Why? I'm not gonna go. Just c- 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 come on Saturday. I'm performing. Demir, I have to tell you one last thing. Okay, Demir, listen. The, the the real password is Alex. Do you know who? Do you know what that password means? No, I don't know what it is. Okay, I have to tell you a secret, but you have to keep it to yourself. Mm-hmm. Secret, right? Well, very big secret. Okay, give me a secret. Uh, Demir, look, I feel what? really, I feel really bad, but I want to tell you because I think your friend Alex, he set you up for this prank, but it went a lot farther than I expected. And I want you to help me prank Alex in some way as payback because I know you lost your phone. I know it f***ing sucks. And I feel bad that you have to run around New York a couple times to find it. But if you get Alex back, it'll at least be gratifying. So I wanted to see if you're open to try to counter prank Alex in some way. Okay, uh, it's, uh, it's possible to, uh, to get back this phone. Here's the thing. I don't have your phone. Like he, I, I'm a comedian online, so I don't actually know... Uh, you- so I, I don't have your phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, okay. I, so I don't have your phone. Alex sent me an email saying, oh, my really good friend Demir unfortunately lost his phone. It'd be funny if you called him back and acted like maybe you have it to return it to him. Ah, uh, all, all, uh, okay. All, all, all my meeting is going to be with, uh, was with you, right? It's Red, uh, Red Lobster and uh, just before yeah. it's movie theater. Yeah, Red right? Lobster, so, movie theater, Hunkamania. All of it was me. All of it was me. No, it's great. You just spend. I spent a lot of time for you. No, no, but, I know, yeah, and man, I, man, it's great. Yeah. No, 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 and I'm sorry. Honestly, I I know that it's frustrating, and I'm very sorry for wasting your time. But what I wanted to do for you is—is is Alex your best friend, or how do you know Alex? Alex, you mean uh, ah, Alex? Yeah, your your other friend, Alex. Yeah. I understand. I understand who it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, Alex is my friend. I know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So now, <laughs> isn't that crazy? <laughs> Yeah, he is, he is pretty good. Too. Well, <laughs> well, look, honestly, I'm very sorry that, you know, I, I feel bad. You know, no, I know, no, yeah, I know no, you no, lost. No, so, so, uh, I'm agree. So funny. So funny. I'm agree. Yeah. Honestly, the fact yeah. that I made you run around to that many places and that you're chill about it, you are amazing, Demir. You are seriously so chill. Um, but yeah. I want to help you get payback to get to prank him back as like revenge, you know? I got Demir's friend in on the prank to make the requester, Alex, think that Demir had just been thrown in jail because of the prank he set up. Now check out how this reverse prank goes down. Hello? 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 You hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry. I'm 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 sorry, I'm sorry. Actually, Demir tried to reach you, like, multiple times. He, he has called you. Uh, he told me you couldn't pick up his phone, and he asked me to call you right away when I when I can. Basically, uh, someone stole his phone, or he lost his phone, and he went to some gay club, I guess, and he got in an argument and fought with a bartender, and he broke his nose or, or face, I don't know, a bar- bartender. He called me from police because he was arrested and uh, he called from police that uh, he asked me to call you to see if we can help him out to bail him because uh, in order for police to release him, they needed $5,000.
Uh, um, 5,000. 5, 5,000 dollars? Five. Yes. Yes. Uh, actually, Chantal is on the other line. I asked her to see if maybe she can speak with uh, anyone in her lower office to see if they can help just to kind of reach, maybe to see the situation. Actually, uh, I have uh, the phone number from police. What do, what do you think, Alexander? What, what can we do? Yeah, we gotta call the police in that case. Do you know anyone who ha- can help us out? Like lawyer or someone, I don't know, in New York maybe, who can do something about it? I mean, there's not much you can do about it. I guess you have to hold the bail. The $5,000? Yeah, I, mean, I think we can five thousand dollars bail and take it from there. What do you think? Can we combine our money to try to bail him out? Because yeah. I have some money yeah, in my. Let's... <sighs> yeah, let's talk to let's talk to the police. Can you text me the phone and uh, I'll I'll try to get in touch with them. Okay, I will call you back. Yeah. Thank you. Now I called back Alex, the requester, to see how he felt about being responsible for putting his friend in jail. Hey, ma'am. Yo, what's up, bro? I just got your calls. Uh, uh, sorry, I missed you earlier. What's going on? Uh, I really hope that it's some sort of reverse prank going on now. I called him yesterday, actually, and I got a hold of him for a little bit, but uh-huh. he, uh, I, like, afterwards, like, the call got disconnected, and he wouldn't pick up again, so I don't know what the latest is. I figured he would text you, and then you'd give me an update. No, in the EU, I don't know if he is, but there is a chance that uh, Damir went back to the nightclub. Yeah, I, I called him as Chris. I call- wait, he, he, wait, what happened? Well, supposedly, he got back to the nightclub, got a f- in a fight with the bartender, and got arrested. Yeah, well, he got arrested? Well, maybe, yes. I mean, I, I didn't call the police here. I called him yesterday as Chris again, and I was like, hey, I was like, hey, Demir, it's Chris it's from Hunkamania. You know, you, I, I gave you the password last time. It was the wrong password. You have to come back. And, like, I convinced them back and forth to come back. Uh, I'm, I'm wondering, did you, who, who called? He called you from, from jail, or what the hell happened? Uh, he, he called our friend. Uh, now what? Well, supposedly he's in jail, so... Unless you reveal the prank and you're trying to prank me back. And that would be genius, is, but uh, unfortunately... That, <laughs> that would have been genius, know. but unfortunately... He doesn't know it's a prank from me, so unless... like, Do you have another friend that might have told him? Because maybe like, there's a small no. chance it's a reverse prank if somebody else told him, but it didn't come from me. No, no. Nobody else knows about no. the prank? No. I mean, I, I guess... Are we not going to do a reveal now? Because it's kind of a little more serious. I don't know. <laughs> I guess uh, I'll have to do the reveal in person in that case, so... How do you think he's going to take the prank when you're like, hey, I made you run around and fight somebody and go to prison or to go to jail? Ha <laughs> ha. You think he'll take it well? Uh, probably not. Yeah. But, oh, boy. Well, okay. Um, I'll keep you updated, man. I'm not going to okay. take more all of your time. All right. Cool, man. Well, yeah, let, let me know. Keep me posted. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Now I have Demir call back Alex with the number of a local jail showing up on the caller ID. So Alex is convinced at this point that he actually caused his friend to go to jail. Hello? 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 I я тебе рассказывал там про этого там гомосеша, который mm-hmm. со мной встречался, там то есть говорил вечером, я с ним пошел встречаться. Тоже говорит, mm-hmm. то же самое, в принципе, сказал, те же самые, то же самое, как до этого, только, только уже, ну, они, я просто узнал, они там работали в пятницу. Вот, короче говоря, неважно, то есть я с ним, я с ним там, я с ним, короче говоря, там проблема получилась одна. То есть сейчас в этом а, на 35-й сейчас, на 35-й а, в участке, как, в причине. Говоря, очень нужна эта помощь твоя. Сейчас, положи секунду. Сейчас там... Положи сейчас секунду, сейчас. Hello, Alex? Yes. You were right, bro. You just got reverse pranked. How does it feel? 
it's good. Uh, I, at least I didn't. I don't need to post the whale. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but tell tell me though. How did you feel? How did you feel about the whole situation when you got off the phobie just now? I think you were like wondering, am I getting reverse pranked? But I think I handled it in a way that made you think at least twice. <laughs> but no, I, I I actually. No, I was hoping it was a reverse prank because if if otherwise, I. Uh, yeah, I know. Listen, I had to get you I wouldn't back. feel super good about it. No, absolutely. I had to get you back somehow because I felt bad for poor Demir. Like, all those phone calls to him made him run around New York City. I had to try to make it right somehow, but I still feel bad that he's he's still phoneless. But I actually have Chantel on the line and Marcel. They're all here. Everybody say what's up. <laughs> Hello. Hi. <laughs> So uh, yeah. that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. We try to make it pretty intricate out there, but yeah. So that that saga can now come to a close. You have you have to just uh, buy a new iPhone for me. After this. <laughs> Bro, honestly, if if YouTube was paying, I would be buying you two iPhones. I'd be happy to do it. But this is why I tried to find that workaround where I could just get Alex back in a good way. Um, yeah. But Demir, do you forgive Alex, or are you still kind of like salty? How do you feel about it? No, I'm fine. It's good. Yeah, I mean, it's good. I can I can yeah. wait to hear the review. <laughs> so it was so funny uh, with uh, Geek Club with uh, Pixie Dust. Yeah, I know the Pixie Dust, oh, and then, and then yeah. having you go in there and say the password's ball sack potatoes. Ball of uh, B O L S A K potatoes, right? Yes. Bo ball sack potatoes, right? <laughs> Chantel, I had him go into the gay club and try to tell the bartender that he's there for a special like meeting with somebody in the back, and the password's ballsack yeah. potatoes. So he was going over the people. But, uh, saying, <laughs> but with, with, uh, with this password, I look like a really, a really good. But uh, everybody, everybody, <laughs> look at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> password. That's amazing. All right, bro. Well, well thank you again yeah. for for your time. And I, again, I apologize. If you think of somebody else in the future that you want to pull a prank on, I got you. Same goes to you, Chantel and Marcel. I know it took up some, yeah, some of your time. Don't let it be me. <laughs> don't, let it, all, don't, don't let it be you. I don't know. These, these guys are conniving. It might be you someday. You never know. But cool. Well, thank you, everybody, for your time. Everybody go get back to work now. Yeah. We can now call this a close. But thank you for uh, for it, participating. It, it was definitely memorable. <laughs> no, absolutely. <laughs> for sure, for sure. All right, guys. Everyone take care. Okay. 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 Have a good day, everyone. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Okay. Bye. Nice, nice to hear about it. Right. Bye-bye. Oh my god, what a roller coaster of a video! Yeah, tell me about it. Editing a video this long and translating all the Russian bits took an insane amount of time. So if you dig the comedy, show your support by dropping a like on this and sending the link to your friends. Yeah, man, it's the least they can do. We'll see you subscribers again next week.